Hello, sports fan. This is Stephen Hill for Sports Choice Plus. I'll bring you a very special breakdown. I'm going to be covering the What's Next series for the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, before I get right into that, I'm going to make sure you hit the subscribe button right now so you can get all the updates each and every time we have breakdowns here at Sports Choice Plus. Without further ado, we're going to get right into the action. Looking at the Dallas Cowboys right now, after finishing to a disappointing 6-10 and 10 mark, uh, this team goes into an offseason licking its wounds. When you're looking at the, the needs of this team, a lot of them are going to be on the defensive side of the ball. The number one need is signing Dak Prescott back um, with the cap. I know that there was news that the cap went to $180 million officially for this next football season, a little higher than expected. The Dallas Cowboys get a little bit of cap space, a little cap relief, but they still are going to have to reduce a lot of salary to make sure Dak is signed. Right now, at this moment, reports are that Dak wants $40 million. A compromise may be a six-year deal where they can stretch that money out a little longer, but unless Dak takes a little bit of flexibility, I don't think this will get done. I think he'll be hit with another franchise tag. What the franchise tag does for this organization, it wrecks the salary cap. Because what they were trying to do is pay Dak a little bit less to be able to restructure things in other places. You have to ask yourself, is Ezekiel Elliott going to take a pay cut? If Dallas has to reduce salaries, he's going to be one of the first ones asked to take a pay cut due to his lack of production. Also, Demarcus Lawrence. You have to look at Demarcus Lawrence as being one of the cap casualties that could get cut, traded, or be asked to reduce his salary. And a lot of players in the NFL are not taking pay cuts because they work extremely hard. So that's one thing to think about. If you're in Dallas, you have to restructure this offensive line. I know that Tyron Smith is still uh, a pretty good left tackle. You have to ask yourself, are you going to continuously pay this guy what he's getting paid to have him play only five or six games a year and suffer back injury after back injury after back injury? You have to get younger on that offensive line and put together pieces that are going to be able to sustain. This is not the Dallas Cowboys offense that Dak was drafted to. This is not that big bodyguard offensive line that's really going to protect a lot of people. It's a lot of holes on this offensive line towards the end of the year. Quarterbacks were getting killed on the Dallas Cowboys side of things on the offensive side of the ball, taking big hits, taking big shots and not being able to run back a block for Zeke or pass block for Andy Dalton. So moving in this next direction, the keys for the Cowboys, resign Dak Prescott. Make sure he has his money. The next thing up should be restructuring deals and getting more cap flexibility. The third thing should be the Dallas Cowboys improving that offensive line to make sure Dak has more premium protection. If you're Dallas, I could sacrifice a little bit of defense if I know my offensive line is going to give Dak that much more time. I would talk to Zeke. You know, you got to get it in shape. You got to come to work inspired and you have to play and earn that contract. And then the back end, that back end of that defense in Dallas is horrendous. You have to get corners and safeties that can slowly help you stop the bleeding because your pass rush doesn't have time to get there. I know that we saw Aldis Smith come out and have a pretty good year. Demarcus Lawrence had suffered through injury after injury, and he was okay. But you have to ask yourself, what are you paying premium prices for these guys for if they're not putting the work in? They're not getting the goals accomplished and they're not hitting those milestones you think they can uh get but right now Dallas Cowboys have to get the cap under control they have to get Dak re-signed that is the biggest goal so I think they're going to have an okay year again I don't think they're going to win the Super Bowl I don't think they're going to do anything crazy but in 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 if they can't get a deal agreed to with Dak I can easily see this team washing their hands with Dak if they can possibly get in position to draft another quarterback or either trade for another quarterback so that's the word in Dallas uh, all you Dallas Cowboys fans, all you NFL fans, get in the comment section right now. Tell me what you think. And as always, please check out the description where you can go directly to the Facebook channel so I can debate with you each and every week. And as always, we'll see you on the next video.